Draymond Green just fumbled a $164 million contract over one punt. This is it for Draymond. He's lost his grace. I genuinely don't see how you'll get that max extension he's been fantasizing about now. And fantasy is the perfect word to describe his ludicrous demand for a max extension. Look at his stats. He had his normal triple single. <laughs> but let's not be short-sighted, okay? You know what's the difference between a championship team and a dynasty? Championship teams are built on a collective, and dynasties are built on a core. Man! Oh, what a shot from Curry! The 90s Bulls had Mike and Pippen, and then did it again with Rodman. The 2000s Lakers had Shaq and Kobe. Antonio Spurs had Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili. The rest of the roster can completely turn over. As long as the core is there, the bus doesn't stop. The Warriors had their core on their run. Steph, Clay, and Dre. 2015-2016, it was them. They had Kevin Durant in 2017 and 18, of course. But they just won one without him. But that's where the question arises. That question is, was Draymond a core member of the 2022 Warriors finals run. We're not talking about the past finals because that's undeniable. They don't win in 2015 without him. In 2016, they'd probably win with him if they had him for one more game. But right now, going into the 2023 season, was Draymond a part of the team's core that won the championship back in the summer? We know Steph was. Clay came back and he had his moments. Poole was a highlight reel. And Wiggins, well, there is no 2022 NBA champion Golden State Warriors without Andrew Wiggins, quite frankly. Could we say the same about Draymond? Looking at this Golden State Warriors team, could we say Draymond was even the fifth most impactful player on the roster? I'd argue that's Looney. Man, I'd argue the sixth most impactful player on that run was Gary Payton II. Quite frankly, it's hard to be blind to what's plainly written on the walls simply out of respect for what Draymond has previously accomplished. But after he suckered Poole, all eyes are on him. And the Warriors organization agrees, because they just dropped a bag on Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins. You about to get a bag! We about to get a bag! We about to get a bag! The front office is turning the sales towards the franchise's future, not Draymond. This was probably the outcome anyways, regardless of the altercation, but the incident definitely strengthens a decision that had already been made. The signing of Poole and Wiggs puts even Clay in jeopardy because he's due for an extension in two summers time, and Clay Thompson even with the injuries is still worth big time money. And sources have stated that it is financially impossible that the Warriors will keep their guys at their individual asking price. Draymond Green is not worth his asking price. So what's going to happen? Will he take a pay cut? Will Draymond put aside his ego and do what's needed for the betterment of the team? Or will he leave Golden State and pursue greener pastures? Starting off with the most likely, Draymond picks up his player option guaranteeing him $27 million. This will make him free agent at the end of the 2023-24 season, where his future with the Warriors would be up in the air certainly. There's zero shot he declines it because we just saw Westbrook opt into his $47 million option because he knew damn well there's no chance to hell he was getting that money anywhere even near that amount. And what sane individual is going to knowingly leave millions on the table? There's also a scenario that he declines it and he opts in for a team friendly deal. I don't see that deal coming close to Wiggins 27 million average or the ridiculous idea of 40 mil with a max. Looking at the contracts pool and especially Wiggins got makes his statement even more preposterous. Like at least with Westbrook, his supermax was signed following his MVP season in OKC. Draymond in his entire career has been very good, don't misunderstand. I know how great prime Draymond was, but he's never been worth 40 million, ever. That statement was clearly some la la land mumbo jumbo cooked up by Rich Paul and Clutch. Third scenario is that he goes into unrestricted free agency following the 2024 season and signs with another team. The leading candidate in this case has to be the Lakers because it just makes the most sense. Draymond is not going to go to any rebuilding team because neither party would benefit from it. And considering the kind of talent that LA has been bringing in during the LeBron era, he just makes the most sense. And we know how close LBJ is with Draymond. I mean, it's hard to miss if you ever hear Draymond speak because one thing he sure loves doing is showing his admiration for LeBron. 
Draymond is a true follower of his king. Now what would that mean for LA? Honestly, no one knows. The Lakers suck ass and triple singles aren't saving them. But where else would he go? New York? That might be the only team stupid enough to give him a contract he'd like, to be honest. Now the least likely scenario, well, not least likely, because that would be something like Draymond quits the NBA and becomes a full-time podcast or something. But like, least likely but still probable scenario is that he gets traded. This is not likely to happen, especially if it's initiated by the front office. I highly doubt they'd ship him just because the Warriors are a loyal franchise and they do show that towards their guys. So only real way is if Dre demands a trade. In which case, all bets are off at that point and the Warriors general manager Bob Myers has to take the best suitor. I'm sure they try to get Draymond in a good situation so they can end on good terms, not leave him stranded in DC or Detroit. Kinda like OKC did for Chris Paul. But Draymond doesn't have that much appeal on the market at this time truthfully. I mean, let's be real. Will we even be having this conversation like this for any other guy on any other franchise putting up stats like he does? Yeah, in this case, Draymond's gonna probably end up in somewhere like Dallas or something. It'd certainly be a team where they're close to contending, but they just need some spare parts to get the engine running. And he might be able to be a key contributor in stepping into that new situation. Whatever happens though, let's not forget what Draymond has done in Golden State. He's been to six finals and won four of them. Whether the flack he receives is warranted or not, he's still a champion and will most likely be in the Basketball Hall of Fame.